So today I want to take another look at the Netlify CMS that I'm adding to a project that I'm working on where we're doing component-based design. So essentially what we had added on the page before was a list component, which is a standard Netlify CMS component. And that allowed me to add multiple value fields here. So I could basically add this chunk and reorder these in any way that I want. The only downside was you can only add one type of content. So this grouping of fields here has to be added no matter what. And I had previously found this pull request on GitHub to the Netlify CMS project that is adding the modular content widget. So what this is doing is it's allowing us, as a screenshot demonstrates, it's allowing us to add different types of content here. So it gives you this nice little drop down in order to do that. So previously, uh, I had actually gone and I set up Netlify CMS locally on my computer and then I pulled in this PR and I built the assets, which is the distribution folder, the DST folder locally. And then that allows me to have the functionality of this PR, which isn't quite yet merged into the project. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this video to the video that shows how to do that and set that up, but I'm not gonna go through it again here. So if you're coming across this video now, there's a couple things that might happen. So one, you have to, take a look at this issue and see if this is actually merged into the project because this will eventually get merged into the, the base Netlify CMS project. And once that happens, you won't have to go through the step of building it yourself. But if you're coming here before that actually happens, you might have to go and look at the other video. The other thing is, it sounds like the requests that are being asked of this PR are still a little bit in flux. So the way that we're going through and we're setting up this modular widget may be a little bit different how the ultimate API is actually set up. So. If the syntax is a little different, I'm sorry, uh, but this is a good starting point to see how it works today. So I've gone through here and on my local computer, I have this Netlify CMS project here. And you'll notice that I've already built the dist folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this folder, which has basically the assets that I need to run the Netlify CMS on my project, the cms.css file and the cms.js file. I'm gonna copy this over to my other project so I can start using that new widget on that project. So over here in my project, you see this is the budget.boston.gov site. It's a Jekyll site and there's no dist folder here. So I'm actually going to copy the dist folder from the Netlify CMS project that built with the new modular component in it. And I'm gonna copy over to this folder here and then I'm gonna go and I'm actually going to update the index.html file, which is what includes the Netlify CMS on my project. So in here, you'll notice that there are two references to assets. One is this cms.css, the other one is the cms.js file, and these are served over a CDN that is provided for us. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna update this so it's looking at our local dist folder that we just copied over to our project. So I'm just gonna make a relative URL here. And I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then if I save this and I rebuild my project, I should be able to go to the Netlify CMS that I have set up here and I should be able to reload this page. And now if I actually take a look at the assets that are being served, so I'll go to the network tab and reload. I'll notice that the cms.js file is now coming from my local host. And similarly, the CSS file should be doing the same thing. So I'll reload this cms.css also coming from my locos. Okay, so now we're getting the modified package here, which should give us the ability to go through and create these module components. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Flip back to my project, and if I edit the config.yaml file, which is where all this configuration is stored, I'll notice here I have for my collection that is featured analysis, which is what we're building over here on this, on this Netlify CMS, there is a field down here that is using a list widget. So it's called our component field. And that's what we're seeing right here, this component field that we're, we're adding. So we need to update this to use the new modular component. And if I flip over to 
the issue, there's this image here which shows basically how you'd go setting this up and I have that blown up over here. And you'll see that basically what they were um, offering up was a new widget called a modular widget. However, I know by reading down on this issue that this isn't actually going to work anymore because it was requested that instead of building a completely new widget as a wrapper for the list, we're actually going to extend the existing list component to allow this modular capability. So the way that it's suggested of doing this is adding a types field instead of a fields field. So if we look over at the way we're doing this right now, we have a list component, that's great, but we're using a fields key here and that's what's making it so when we actually go and add new components, they're always the same, even though we can reorder them and add as many as we want. We actually want to change that distinction to just be types. Okay, so if I save this and I rebuild, well, let's take another look at that real quick. So I added a types here and now I have two types that are defined. I have breadcrumbs and I have intro and those are both objects so I could add a bunch of different fields to those. And since those types are defined now, if I go and I rebuild my site, we should be able to go and add either a breadcrumb or an intro component. Okay, and if I switch back to the browser and I reload this page, we have our component section down here again, but now when we click on this, we get the option of adding either or components. So we can add a breadcrumb, then we can add an intro, then maybe we want to add two breadcrumbs after that. And now we're able to have this kind of like dynamic modular approach to adding components to the page and it's exactly what we're looking for in terms of the way that we designed this project. So hopefully that helps you out and soon, you know, look for this PR to be merged in. Definitely go and review it, make sure it's working for you and, and uh, give the thumbs up over here on the project if you think it looks good. And hopefully that helps you out on your component-based design Netlify CMS projects. All right, thanks.